if you're here, then you probably know what novel AI is and probably want to understand how to do instruct a little bit better than it already is. It's well explained, um, but I understand it can be a bit confusing and maybe a visual walkthrough would be a bit better. There are multiple different ways to use it and they can sort of conflict, you know, if you sort of just try mixing them in all together. And understand there's like a lot of confusion about what to use, when to use it, and how to use it. And instruct being one of the ones that, you know, I think a lot of people have come from things like GPT-4 and are just looking for something along those lines, which is not necessarily in novel AI's nature. It being more like AI Dungeon not the new AI dungeon, more like the old AI dungeon, right? So, you know, a bit of misunderstanding is understandable. But let's get right into it and let's figure out what we can do with Novel AI's Instruct. It's not even like a, a, a model, it is a module. But let's see how it works. Opening up from a fresh, you know, story, you're going to have a good time just you know just starting off just a clean slate is probably the best way to do it i have you know tried to mix it in with like a prose story that i've been working on or two right like and sometimes just like shoving it in in the middle of like a well-written story might confuse it because it, it wants to continue writing and maybe I'll get to show off a little bit of that letter, but it wants to just continue like it's not an instruction. But, you know, just a simple break in there uh, to switch up like from different, like the different ways that it's handling it will clear that right up and allow you to start instructing again. And I'm sure there's other ways to work around with it, but that's just a quick and easy way to make it like understand like what's going on because remember it is just a module it is much much like the the chat functionality i think they're they're doing a whole new thing for functionality of chat like aether room which is coming out later because chat chat is somewhat functional here i had i haven't really tested it myself but it's it's a thing that you can do so let's start it off Starting off, if you've read the, the instruct module, you know, the whole the thing that they give you right here, the how to, it's a quick little guide. You will want that either on or I'm pretty sure if you just turn it or if you just start with a start with one, then it'll turn it on for like a thousand characters and then disappear. But like most of the time, if it if you just start with one it's much easier to corral because it's not already in a way of thinking right so blank slate is the way to go for most of the time and sometimes you know i like to use these to just set up a story here let's do like a little something here that is you know all right for youtube um should be fine you know pardon my bad grammar i'm i'm reaching around the mic and there you go right it just continues with whatever prompt you get it this is more akin to what you would do with like chat gpt a claude an instruct type model where you just give it a thing and then it continues and let's see it let's see if let's just get it running you know see what it comes up with right this is what i love about novel ai just the flow you know you just repeat it it's quick it's snappier than those those larger llms but also the editing is a lot easier than novel ai and uh a lot of the llms they don't even let you touch what you generate so if i say i don't like this little this little spot right here sorry about that if i don't like that Boom, it's back. We continue. 
there you go right continues from there now and then you sort of get into formatting at that point i usually would you know like if i see this this is gonna start like probably making small sentences that just hop down and i don't really like that format there so having like wide paragraphs and long paragraphs is the way to go and i understand that you might be like um like some of the other llms they're really good about like making long paragraphs and you know they're that's why they're sort of good about it this one you sort of have to lead a little bit more which i think is is fine it's not like too much effort but it is like you know show and tell you know show it and then tell it to do it again and it'll probably it'll try replicating it right which is why a lot of people don't understand or like have a bit of a a weird time with it because it's not like a large llm it's more like if you want this this hop down style you let it continue doing that or you do that yourself and if you want like a longer paragraph style you get it going yourself all right let's see what else let's let me, let me show you like what would happen in like a story that you've already made or like let's say you like you've got a story that's already gone and let me show you exactly how that weird little interaction is going to be so here we have a longer story that i've been working on it's you know let's see we can see the full entire context here <laughs> it's around 3040 tokens right you know so not the biggest but it's you know full of context right you know so bada bing bada boom I've already figured this out. I was doing this for the um, for a showcase of the instruct, but basically, if you make a break here, then it won't break. I mean, then it, then it won't have much problem. As you can see, I've said describe, you know, him in detail. This is a goblin, you know, so small, you know adorned with scars he is a general right you know and you know you can just let it go and then change what you don't like right like maybe you don't want that right but a bing but a boom you want him to be ferocious and like a short little stabby guy right then you just change what you don't want keep what you do and then then you can use this and just be like okay you know <laughs> sorry uh you can be like um that's not the right context uh you can use this and you know say make a character uh, i mean a lore book make a lore book entry and keep her going and just have that as the detail of this character because right now i have nothing in the memory nothing in the lore book to really remind it who rog is and if we like stay away from rog too long then it's gonna forget and probably just like call him an ogre or something all right and that that is why instruct is pretty good because you can just you know tell it what you want like that but let's let's say we go back a little bit here and we just try you know uh you know do, do the same thing again but without like a break and when i mean break i mean those three asterisks those three star symbols right those things usually are break break for writing scene changes anything like that you'll find more in the tutorial which and if you're here and you don't really know much about novel ai they do have a wonderful wonderful tutorial not a not the tutorial, but it's uh, like a guide, a like a manual for how to use it. Which is one of the reasons I was sort of like, uh, 
uh, I kind of was a little, a little bad at AI Dungeon because their guide and their, their like format and their systems weren't so laid out, at least for me. Like I couldn't really figure out exactly what to do with some of the, I mean, like they, they use square bracket and there was a few other ways to like add detail to a character, but they were all like, instead of being in novel AI, they were in, I mean, AI dungeons, they were in GitHub pages, you know? So just really weird. And it was hard. To, it was, it was a bit more confused. And also that was like my first experience with it. So maybe I could come back and like start actually figuring stuff out. So, you know, now it seems pretty fixed. I'm not going to lie, but like last time it would be like described in detail and it would like continue as like this was a sentence so it was trying to write in prose and continue this like it was just a sentence instead of an instruction and actually it might have just been like sometimes you need to like uh you know let it run for a second to realize that there is you know a change so bada bing bada boom it's working now you could probably keep on adding instructs in here in the the bottom here and have no problem and there you go i would say if you have any like questions or concerns and probably you do because you're here wondering about the instruct model what do you want to know add it in the comments and i'll either message you maybe make a video about it we're gonna be i'm gonna be doing a video on the other forms that you can do here the other ways that you can use it storyteller uh, text adventure and we'll keep her going from there